What's up guys, it's High Cross, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to get stretch resolution using the CRU method and display scaling. Um, this video is going to be um, pretty quick and simple and straight to the point. Um, it is also very much based on It's Jerian's recent video on the CRU method he posted about two weeks ago, um, except his video is 18 minutes long. I want to compress mine into five to eight minutes long. Um, I just feel like it shouldn't take 18 minutes to do this tutorial, and I just want to show you guys the quickest way possible. Um, so yeah, let's get right into it. First off, um, you want to open up your NVIDIA control panel. So I have it opened up right now. Um, so for your resolution right here, you want to make sure that you have 1920 by 1080 um, selected, and you want to hit customize right here, and you want to make sure that there's no custom resolutions up in the top. If there is, just hit the X, hit apply, and that'll get rid of them. And you're just going to hit OK, and we're going to come down to um, adjust desktop size and position. And then um, when you're in here, you want to make sure that um, if you have aspect ratio selected, which most of you guys probably do, you want to hit no scaling, hit apply, hit yes, um, and make sure your perform scaling on is under the display scaling and not GPU scaling. If you have GPU scaling, um, you're most likely on a laptop and this won't work for you. So make sure that you're using display scaling. We are going to go into the CRU method. So I will have this actually linked in the description below for you guys. Um, and it'll, uh, once you extract everything and download it, um, this CRU file will pop up and there'll be four things, CRU reset all, restart and restart 64. So first off, we're going to do CRU. I'm just gonna run it. Um, it should pop up, yes, and here we are. So make sure straight away you want to click the one that is actually active um and so that is my benq zowie monitor and you're going to see a bunch of stuff right here and you want to go down to the extension blocks um you're just going to hit this hit edit um and then this little screen comes up and you're going to see a bunch of detailed resolutions in here so you want to choose um the one with the highest refresh rate and the one with like your native res so mine's 1920 by 1080 um, at 239 hertz, which is basically 240. So you're just gonna hit that, then hit edit again, and then this is gonna come up. And so all you're gonna do is hit copy, um, and then hit okay. And then one by one, you're gonna select this, and we're just gonna delete these resolutions from the top. Make sure all of them are deleted, and you just hit okay after that. Then when you see um, the, established, the established resolutions on the left side here, you're just gonna hit none, and that'll uncheck all of them. All right, boys, so next up, after you um, hit none for all the established resolutions, you're going to go down to the extension blocks, and we're just going to hit delete all. We don't want any extension blocks there. Um, then with your standard resolutions, we're going to hit delete all for that as well. Um, and we're going to actually hit add, and we're going to come down here to and select whatever your native um, standard resolution is for your monitor. So mine's 1920 by 1080, you can leave it at 60 hertz, hit OK, that'll be there. And then there'll be detailed resolution, make sure to get rid of this one, this one somehow just popped in there. Um, now you're going to hit add, and we're actually going to hit paste, and we're going to paste um, what we copied earlier. So we're going to paste everything in there. And then here is where we are going to change um, your resolution to what stretch resolution you want. I'm gonna do the exact one that Jerry ended and the one that I've been using for a long time now, um, 1720 by 1080. It's easily the best stretch, resolu stretch resolution in the game in my opinion. Um, so yeah, we're just gonna do that and we're just gonna hit okay. Make sure your CRU looks exactly like this. Don't have any check marks here, have this empty, have these two selected and we'll be all good. Next up, you're just gonna hit okay and it'll bring you back um, to this screen and now all you guys are going to do is hit restart 64, which is basically going to restart your graphics driver and restart your PC. Um, so this video will have to cut real quick, but I'll see you guys after double clicking and doing a restart 64. All right, so right after you hit um, restart 64, it'll take you back to your screen and you will notice that you will be on 60 hertz. Um, and that is completely normal. So all we're going to do, we're just going to type in this um, left search bar. We're just going to do display. Um, change the resolution of the display. You just want to go into your display settings. Um, and when it comes up, you're just going to go scroll down and hit um, advanced display settings. And that's going to take you to this screen here. 
if you have a uh, dual monitor or triple monitor set up, make sure um, you select this monitor that is like the one that you're actually wanting to get stretched. Make sure you have that selected up here. And you're just going to come down here to display adapter properties for your display. Um, and then it'll take you to uh, this screen and you're just going to hit list all modes. And you should be able to scroll down just a little bit and find the one that we created in the CRU, which is 1720 by 1080 true color, 32 bit, 240 Hertz. You're just going to hit OK and hit apply. You'll get a black screen for a second. Make sure you hit keep changes and you guys are officially on stretched resolution. Um, everything should look good. If you do have black bars, please refer to Jerrion's video. He uh, greatly lists um you know ways to fix that i will also have that video linked in the description below um if you guys have questions please ask i know in the if you guys do experience problems and you don't like the stress res anymore all you got to do is come back to that cru um file and just make sure you hit reset all and by hitting reset all it'll make everything go back to native and you can just change your res or you can change your hertz back to 240 hertz native um and it'll just simply reset everything because you don't have to change your temp files um, for Fortnite, you don't have to go in like crazy settings, and you can still change your settings in Fortnite without them being um, removed if you want to, you know, restart your game or anything. So this is easily the best way for the lowest input delay using stress res. If you really enjoyed this video, please leave a like, please subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.